because I do want to deal with the the real world and I do want to have a voice in in the threatened state of our planet and can we do something. I guess my passion has always been very much about um, caring for and um, um, uh, the, the, nat the natural world, you know. So I guess I married my art into it in a way. So that's and it's become more and more embedded into it, you know. Whereas it started off a little bit more abstracted, like it was much more to do with alchemy, but it was still dealing with matter. And um, but I think um, now it's like really about real places. Tell me a bit more about the level of interaction with you engage people. people with the plants. It's not cultural, it's, it's well, biological. What I'm to, yes, it's, it is. It's, it's, so one time I had like an actor, but, but um, being a botanist, as though he arrived in the colony for the first time and he's just going around tasting these things and he's analysing it in terms of what are the, the, the botanical elements in it that give it a certain taste. Yeah. Like, you know, you can look at all the ones that have that citrus flavour in the native... Yeah. And then trying to understand is what's the molecular being of those plants. So it's... I, I do make that distinction that I'm not saying one's cultural, because of course the indigenous peoples have been using all of these plants um, and they have symbolic significance to them, and I don't ignore that. But in, in my way of using it, it's, it's about this the botanical being, I say, of the plant.